What if you had an animal tongue? By Sandra Markle, illustrated by Howard McWilliam. What if you had an animal tongue? What if one day when you woke up, you felt a little bit strange and you discovered that the tongue in your mouth was now very different? What if overnight a wild animal's tongue had taken its place? What if you had a Komodo dragon's tongue? A Komodo dragon sticks out its long yellow tongue to snag air samples, pressing its tongue to a special sensor on the roof or top of its mouth lets it smell and taste what is collected. It's how the dragon locates the meat it eats, such as deer, pig, or water buffalo, which it senses as far as five miles away. A Komodo dragon's tongue tip is forked, that means split, uh, to sense if the smell and taste is stronger to the left or the right. If you had a Komodo dragon's tongue, you'd never miss out on freshly baked cookies. Mm. What if you had... A tube-lipped nectar bat's tongue. A tube-lipped nectar bat's tongue is one and a half times longer than its body, so long that it's attached inside its rib cage instead of its mouth. Stretched out, its tongue is long enough to feed on the sweet nectar in the bottom of tubular flowers that are too long for short-tongued bats to reach. A tube-lipped nectar bat's tongue has a prickly covering of hair-like bristles, perfect for trapping nectar drops and holding them all the way to its mouth. If you had a tube-lipped nectar bat's tongue, you'd never have to pause the movie. Wow, one and a half times the length? And hair-like bristles on its tongue? Attached to its rib cage? Wow. What if you had a tiger tongue? A tiger's tongue is sandpapery rough with backward facing spines that flex and turn with each lick. These comb fuzzy snarls and knots from its fur, spending as much as a quarter of its waking time. Licking keeps the tiger one well groomed big cat. A tiger's tongue spines are cone shaped and curved backward toward its throat, just right for picking up a drink one lick at a time. If you had a tiger's tongue, you'd be a world famous hairstylist. <laughs> Ew. What if you had web-toed salamander tongue? A web-toed salamander's tongue shoots out of its mouth so fast it can do 10 tongue punches in the time it takes a human to blink once. Wow, that's fast. Blink your eye once. Zoop. Okay. The web-toed salamander just punched its tongue 10 times while you blinked once. Scientists believe muscles wrapped around the salamander's tongue are what power this action, like pulling a rubber band so far it snaps. Pow! When fully extended, a web-toed salamander's tongue is about half its body length, minus the tail. If you had a web-toed salamander's tongue, you'd be the one to bust open the party's pinata. What if you had an okapi tongue? An okapi's tongue is very handy. At mealtimes, its tongue wraps around and pulls in mouthfuls of leaves, fruit, or twigs. At bath time, its tongue licks its body clean, even its eyes and big ears. Ooh, would you lick your eyes and big ears to clean them? An okapi's tongue is purplish black. Scientists believe this color protects the tongue from getting sunburned. Hmm. If you had an okapi's tongue, you could safely pick apples from the tree's highest branches. What if you had a chameleon tongue? A chameleon's tongue has a suction cup tip coated with saliva so gooey it's 400 times thicker than human spit. No wonder whatever a chameleon snags with its tongue stays caught. A chameleon's saliva is so sticky 
that its tongue can haul really big prey into its mouth without losing its grip. If you had a chameleon's tongue, you'd never miss catching a frisbee. What if you had an alligator snapping turtle's tongue? An alligator snapping turtle's tongue tip is topped with a red worm-shaped lump. When the turtle opens its mouth and wiggles its tongue, the wormy part seems alive. When fish can't resist taking a closer peek, the turtle snaps its mouth shut. Dinner time! An alligator snapping turtle hatchling already has a fake worm on its tongue, ready to trick its first meal. So that's like when you fish, you'd bait with a worm, but instead of a fishing pole and a hook, the alligator snapping turtle just uses its mouth. Wow. If you had an alligator snapping turtle's tongue, you'd be your soccer team's most valuable player. You'd also be the best fisherman. If you, what if you had a red-bellied woodpecker's tongue? We have lots of these around us, lots of red-bellied woodpeckers. A red-bellied woodpecker's tongue can stretch out nearly three times longer than its beak, stiffened by bones all the way to the barbed or hooked tip. It spears its meals, such as wood boring beetle larva. Yum. A red-bellied woodpecker's tongue tip has special muscles that move it left, right, and around, helping it remove speared food from tree trunk tunnels. Can you see in this picture out its beak and then the barbed tip? Wow. If you had a red-bellied woodpecker's tongue, you'd be the carnival carnival's balloon-popping champ. <laughs> what if you had a wolf tongue? A wolf's tongue keep it, keeps it cool without wetting its coat and chilling its skin. Instead of sweating, a wolf pants, kind of like dogs, forcing air to flow over its sloppy saliva wet tongue. As the saliva dries, this acts like air conditioning to cool the wolf off, even when it's running flat out. In wolf groups called packs, tongue lips are a way to show respect to the alphas or the pack leaders. If you had a wolf's tongue, you'd win the Iron Kids Triathlon without breaking a sweat. Pay attention if you have dogs at home to see how, how they pant um, since they don't sweat. They're like cousins to the wolves. Interesting. What if you had a blue-tongued skink tongue? When a blue-tongued skink sticks its tongue out, it means boo. It does this when an enemy, such as a brown falcon, comes close. With luck, the colorful tongue startles the hunter long enough for the skink to escape. Scientists discovered that a blue-tongued skink's tongue is brighter farther back in its mouth. So if an enemy keeps coming, the skink opens wider and wider to be even more startling, hopefully. If you had a blue-tongued skink's tongue, dentist appointments would always be a surprise. <laughs> what if you had a gower's tongue? A gower's tongue, like its farm cow cousins, has as many as 25,000 taste buds, more than twice as many as human as a human tongue. The gower is strictly a plant eater or a herbivore, and all those taste buds let it quickly sense plants it can safely eat. A gower uses tongue licks to say, your family. So mating pairs lick each other and mothers lick their calves. If you had a gower's tongue, you'd be the taste tester for new ice cream flavors. Ooh, that'd be fun. A wild animal's tongue could be fun for a while, but you don't need your tongue to catch frisbees, pick apples, or pop balloons. And you don't need your tongue to style hair or cool off. So if you could keep a wild animal's tongue for more than a day, which would be right for you?